Great communication is one of the most important skills to being successful at work and at conflict. And as many of us work from home, good communication becomes even more important. With that in mind, I'd like to share with you my six rules of great communication. Number one, assume the best. How you begin a conversation can make or break it. Why not start that dialogue off with some positive energy? Whether you're starting the discussion or someone else has kicked it off, step into it assuming that all parties are on the same side. On the same side doesn't mean in total agreement. It means you all want to get an outcome that is best for the group, project, or challenge you are facing. Of course, this doesn't mean that you allow anyone to be abusive. The purpose here is to understand that points contra to your perspective aren't necessarily hostile. Number two, seek to understand. Your first reaction should never be a counterpoint. It should be thoughtful questions that demonstrate curiosity. The goal isn't to be right. The goal is to discover what's possible, to get clarity on the subject and the possible perspectives. The goal is to learn how everyone else sees the particular matter. Number three, slow it down. When we slow conversations down, we're showing that we respect the topic and the people enough to take our time and not just regurgitate our already formed opinions. You may still end up there, but at least you put in the work. Number four, don't take it personally. If you take things personally and you continue to debate once the decision has been made, it not only shows you don't respect the people who made the decision, but it harms your future interactions with the team. Number five, be okay to walk away. This is not the same as running away from conflict. You are not permanently avoiding this conversation. You are simply taking a respite so you can gain clearer perspective. The matter is resolved before you return. Please don't take it personally. Number six, study past conversations. Conversations. Take the time to learn what does and doesn't work for you and your team. Share your insights with them. Grow together. And if they don't listen, don't take it personally. And remember that you're only responsible for how you communicate.